Now, all new at five, it is official. Coach Manny Diaz, the man behind that huge turnover chain, is making a change of his own. Sad news for Canes fans. He's leaving his role as a defensive coordinator for the University of Miami to become the head coach at Temple University. CBS 4's Mike Cunha is here now with Diaz's welcome in Philly. Mike? Yeah, Manny Diaz landed himself a five-year deal at Temple. Many may see it as a stepping stone job, but one Diaz was certainly ready for after turning the Canes defense into one of the most feared in college football. Manny Diaz went from roaming the hurricane sidelines as defensive coordinator to the new head man at Temple, his first ever head coaching job. I really have to make a, a special note again to Mark Rick for being so thankful for bringing my family to Miami for the last three years and really teaching me um, what it means to be a great man and to really be a blessing to the young men that you have the opportunity to coach. The players that I leave in the locker room at the University of Miami, those guys are champions, they're warriors. Um, so proud to be called their coach. Diaz and his defense became a national phenomenon in 2017 thanks to their ball hawking style and of course that gaudy turnover chain, which by the way is staying put in Miami. The, the turnover chain I think will always belong to the University of Miami. You know, that's that's that was never about me to begin with anyway. That just that was a, a Miami thing that once it was born it it, it, it it could never it could never go away. He and that chain helped restore a certain sense of swagger to the program, something Diaz said he'll miss. However, he will stick around and wear orange and green for one more game when Miami takes on Wisconsin in the pinstripe bowl. I felt like I owed it to those kids uh, to finish what we started this year. We've got a amazing thing going um, and I, I you know there's some special guys in there and I just, I just want to be with them for one more time. It's his passion that made this Miami native one of the more popular assistant coaches in all of South Florida sports. His father, a former mayor, was regularly seen on the sidelines and his aggressive style was one that was embraced by all Hurricane fans. The world responds to incentive and everybody responds to pain. The quarterback's got to feel the pain, okay? So you got to make the quarterback an uncomfortable guy. Meanwhile, back here in Miami, head coach Mark Rick now has two problems on his hands. He's conducting a national search for a new D coordinator, while recruits are jumping ship less than a week away from the early signing period. Some because of Manny's departure, others just poor timing. Before Diaz makes his way back to South Florida, he says he'll hit the recruiting trail for the Owls. Miami and Wisconsin square off in their bowl game just two days after Christmas. I guess it's a good career move. We can't blame them that much, no, right? You can't. You can. And look, Temple, and they're self-aware. They know. They mentioned it. Too. Like We get it. When someone comes here, all of a sudden their dream job opens up somewhere else, and they don't hold them back from going. So well, who knows? And a head coaching job is few and far between. Absolutely. Right. There's only so many around the country. That's exactly right. And who knows? Maybe one day down the road, he ends up back here at, at Miami. Um, you Could know. be. And we're keeping the chain for now. We're happy with that. <laughs> yeah, the chain, the chain stays. Don't worry. Fans. All right, chain Mike. Stays. Thanks a lot. Mike, thanks. Well,